This can't be comfortable. What did I buy today? I'll show you. Hello everyone, my name is Marty and welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in Stock It September 24. Our host is Lynn from Bucket List Homestead. Okay, and that only role was put $15 of their grocery money towards Stock It Up items. Well, I will show you what I purchased today. It was actually quite a surprise. Sometimes I know in advance what I'm going to buy. Because uh, somebody will tell me or I'll look it up. Uh, the, you know, there's a few places that I frequent. And if I'm going to be local, um, and I do like to shop local. And our grocery stores here are amazing. The staff are just lovely. So, okay, so I'm going to start showing you what I purchased. Now, it's kind of a weird item to stock up on, but I knew it was somebody's favorite. It's also one of my favorites, but when we're talking about pie, they're all my favorites. They are all my favorites. This is what I purchased. Now, sometimes... Like I've mentioned in videos, there's a lost leader in the store to draw in customers for that day or for other days. If, you know, it doesn't have to be the day that, or the week that they have things on. But when you're going up and down the aisle, kind of skim the shelves. And that's what I do because sometimes they are... Uh, clearing out an item for whatever reason, uh, could be close to expiry. I've discovered a lot of times that has nothing to do with it either. It could be not going to expire for like a year or two. This is a Sheriff uh, Light Lemon Pie. And yes, I do make pie from scratch. But sometimes it's just quick and easy thing to make. You have it in your pantry. And you can choose if you want to make it from scratch and show your grandchildren how to do it. Or you can say, hey, you're looking for something to do. Do you want to make your favorite pie? And they can do it on their own now. And, you know, sometimes if you make things too difficult, then they won't lean towards it. But if you make it easy and they can do it for themselves, there's pride in the accomplishment so without further ado maybe I should tell you how much I purchased these for I got these for the low 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 price of 74 cents a box now I did take a picture in the store discreetly because they do frown upon that um, typically I haven't had an issue with it because I'm very discreet about it and I make sure there's nobody around. So I'll show you that after I show you. This. Okay, so that's okay. So um, let's do it in twos. Okay, so there's two, four. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you when these are all done. Now. <laughs> 
I've had uh, a couple of the grandchildren over since I purchased this, and I just handed the one youngster the bag and said, guess what's in there? Well, he had no clue. And when he looked in, his eyes lit up. Like, and he goes, like he couldn't believe it. Okay, so we're getting there. And I didn't take everything on the shelf either, because that's, you know, I didn't need everything on the shelf, but I wanted to make sure that I stocked out. So I did take, with that, I did take a row of them, and I asked when I got up to check out, and they said there wasn't a limit on it because it was a clear out item. So there's a little tip. Now, since we have bought these, they have made a pie and devoured it. And they couldn't believe how easy it was. And that was the nine-year-old. Since then, two days later, the other young man wanted to make a pie. And he's four. And he did it no problem whatsoever. So we're coming up with different wonderful ways that they can make this without having to make it into a pie. I did use a prepared crust. Okay, so here's, oh gosh, they're all upside down. Um, the OCD in me is gonna make me change that to right side up, excuse me. Now let me show you how many is left. Oh, buttercup. <laughs> She's quite the heavy snorer. So there was 18 boxes. I had purchased 20. 74 cents a piece. I believe that's $14.80. Uh, pretty sure I can't locate my thing. There uh, is tax on this because it's a prepared item. So I would be over the $15 mark. But this is quite substantial. And how fun is this? It was worth the look on his face, handing him the bag full of their favorite, well, one of their favorite pies. This is the all-time favorite, and another one is pumpkin. And that's another video. But isn't this wonderful? Now, this was a really big stock up for me, but it was a minimal investment. It was worthwhile because I know these are gonna keep. Even if we make one of these a week or every other week, it gives them a fun little thing that they can confidently say, hey, Nana, can I make a lemon pie? Or can I make a lemon pudding? Because that's the other thing that we, are. Uh, have been making them into as well because you don't have to have a crust to enjoy this part. This is the part that they like the best. So we are trying to come up with all the different ways to enjoy these. So I keep a couple in my cupboards. So I've opened up all the boxes and you're left with a package like that. I was thinking of storing it flat in a Ziploc bag which like a gallon size Ziploc bag, and I'm sure about half of these so would fit in, in a bag and then I could store them. Also, I could store them in the bag. What I did was I found one of my big jars and I could do this. And I think that's what I'm gonna do because I am dealing with some younger children. I'll take the directions off the box and it's just what I'm going to do and tape it on the back here. So I'm going to fill this up. Two of these though, I'm going to grab two of these. I'm going to set them off to one side. I usually, um, well, I'm going to put them off to one side in my purse. And when I pop down to my parents, they just live a few minutes away, like literally two, two and a half minutes down the road. Um, yeah. 
because they like the light version of this. Uh, they like the reduced amount of sugar in their food. So I'm going to put that over in my purse. Yeah, actually, it's nice out. I might just bicycle down there. I'll put it in my little backpack that I carry. Right, let's fill this up. All the boxes are opened, and isn't it always the way? They all fit in but one. Maybe I should have gave three packages to my parents. If I wouldn't, yeah, I might just do that. Uh, but if it separates from the other, they'll wonder what it is. What I did was use my labeler. I um, only did it because it's going to be like this for the whole winter, probably. I do use green tape and blue if I have blue tape. I used clear tape to put this on the lid. I could have put it on the back, but I thought maybe if they take the jar down, they might not see it, or I might not see it. So that's wonderful. And it took a lot of doing to get all of those in there in the packages. I went with leaving them in the packages because then I can just pull them out and you can travel with it. If I was going to go down to mom's and make a pie with her, I can do that. And as I open this up, and cut the directions off. Um, I don't know if you guys do this. I'm sure I'm not the only one to do this. See all of this? This is a good piece of cardboard to write on. I don't buy note paper. It's nice if I'm gifted note paper, but then I end up keeping it. I keep it over on one side and I hesitate to use it because it's so pretty because I'm used to writing on the back of invoices and boxes like this. And as you can see, I have all kinds of it here, but I can tell I'm getting low and this is usually when I restock. Now I keep the brown stuff towards the front and that's a, you know, a traveler. The lighter stuff like the envelopes, I cut up and I put towards the back and I keep extra ones there. I also keep my stamp ha handy as well. It's um, my first initial and Chris's first initial there. Yeah, so typically I will sit down while I'm watching uh, YouTube or a movie and I just cut this off. My other scissors outside in my car. I just grab them. That makes it a lot quicker because the blades are longer. So I'm just going to open these up, stack them off to ones. I'll also do this when the grandchildren are around. Just to be more mindful of their footprint on the planet. And so these I will probably cut in half. So that'll give me like four squares, which is great. And... It's also fun for them, too, if they want to make a little project with it, like houses and things, like they'll glue them together. So, thank you, Lynn, at Bucket List Homestead, for this wonderful collab. Stock it September 24. Every week, I look forward to it, everyone's videos. Uh, it's inspiring, because some things I, I may not even think of stocking up. Why can I not find the side? Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, so I'm going to work away at this, and again, look at all the note paper that I um, have here. And that's going to really knock this pile of packaging down. To, like, I already have, like, four in there, and lots of note paper. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, if you could hit like. On the way out, subscribe, notification, and you'll get more videos like this if this is the content that you want to see. Also, uh, share it with your friends. It's a simple thing to do, and it helps my channel to grow. It doesn't cost you anything to do any of that. So take care, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.